for finding the equilibrium in money market one should know about the demand for money as well as supply of money here we are going to shed some light on the demand for money function and that will be done by using the partial derivatives here we are assuming that we are given a certain function and this function is based upon the data which is um, from 1929 to 1952 it is estimated for US economy and it shows the demand for money in the uh, US economy it is represented by M the demand for money and it is equal to this function here we can see the variable Y and we can see the variable R R is assumed not to be uh, lesser than or equal to 2 it is assumed to be greater than 2 and you can already see that if I put value equal to 2 it will disappear and definitely that will uh, you know remove the this part remove this part from the um, equation and definitely reduce one of the um, effects of the um, uh, very independent variables so it is desirable that r is greater than 2 so that we get a positive value a here or a non zero value here and the uh, function remains a more detailed function and on the whole we can see that y and r they are the independent variables we know that uh, r y is the income and r is the interest rate so clarifying that what are these notations we go ahead and we can analyze the effects of these two variables on the demand for money so in order to quantify the effects we can take the partial derivatives primarily with respect to y and then with respect to r by using these two partial derivatives we can come to the um, effects of y and r on m that is effects of income and discount rate on demand for money so this demand for money function is um, now differentiated with respect to y here you can see on both sides we have introduced y and the derivative is taken definitely some theorem will be applied on these two terms that are separated with the positive sign and then we take the derivative here we know that there is uh, y so the derivative is equal to 1 and the answer is equal to 0.14 whereas here there was no y in this so we had to uh, you know consider the answer equal to 0 because there was no relevant variable now the relevant variable was y so the derivative uh, gave us this answer which is actually a positive answer 0.14 it shows that the effect of y on m that is the effect of income on demand for money is positive and this is something we can observe in our daily life that when the income increases the demand for money also increases now the quantification should be interpreted uh, because you know below is 1 in every uh, ratio so it means that one unit increase in income which is in the denominator there will be a 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.14 unit increase in the demand for money so there is a positive relationship and we have quantified it as well now we talk about the other independent variable which was small r that is interest rate and when we take the derivative with respect to it this will be the function that gets uh, differentiated this is the first term and that is the second term both are separately differentiated using the sum rule here we can't find any r so this term will be reduced to zero and here the term will be differentiated as per the rules of differentiation here we can see the power is there so power rule will be applied and applying this power rule we can solve this as you can see um, r minus 2 is the function and the power comes first and then comes the uh, subtraction of 1 from the power and then the variable itself with power 1 so in this way the power rule is applied and simplification can be done easily 
and the answer will be this so this is the answer which is still symbolic in nature it is not numeric so it's uh, not the best form in which we can interpret the results yes we can see a negative sign but still we don't have any confirmation of what will happen with this so following the given caveat that the value of r is greater than 2 we are going to put a value here and that should follow that certain stipulation so as greater than 2 r value is acceptable so we say that r is for example equal to 4 so when we substituted the value here 4 of r the answer would be through these steps and the final answer would be this it is a negative value minus 17.839 and since it's a negative value it means that an increase in discount rate is going to decrease the demand for money and that is also observable in the uh, real life as when the discount uh, interest rate increases the speculation uh, purpose is preferred so uh, an increase of one unit in interest rate shall decrease the demand for money by this amount so uh, the quantification is also done in this case so in this way we can analyze uh, a given demand function by using the partial derivatives and in this case it was actually the demand function demand for money function of US economy and the data was uh, empirical in nature that was used to uh, estimate the demand function and that demand function is basically used in this economic application of the partial derivatives thank you